At the Minneapolis American Indian Center, Gatherings Cafe is close to the public because of COVID-19. It's been difficult, you know, it, it's hard for us. We're used to, um, you know, people coming in our doors all the time and, um, you know, being able to help people when they're coming in. But Monday through Friday, Cafe staff and volunteers are still busy making meals. We talked a lot about food um, insecurity um, for our American Indian community, um, and particularly our elders, you know, who are in their homes. I miss the elders, so once they said you want to help cook for the elders, I'm like, oh, let's do it. Through a partnership with Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Minnesota Foundation, they're making 100 meals a day, delivering them to their elders in South Minneapolis. Support that came right as Chef Brian Yazzie reached out wanting to help. We're able to purchase um, fresh produce and also reach out to indigenous uh, food producers and vendors and purchase about 50% indigenous ingredients to, to implement in our daily uh, meals. You know, so we're doing what we can and making a uh, comfort food healthy. Meals made from scratch. So just not forgetting of um, our roots and wh where we come from. Just like how they took care of us as we were little, we got to take care of them. Using food to keep the community together fall apart. In Minneapolis, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. And they're planning to collaborate with groups in St. Paul and hope to feed not just the elders, but the indigenous community in general. If you'd like to help, they need specific foods and monetary donations. We have more information for you at care11.com.